Hello, Todd Bog here with Breaking the Stream, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium V, the Scourge Lord playthrough. Where we last left off, we uh, had a much better start. We had to restart due to uh, uh, getting crushed early on um, in our last playthrough. Uh, but this start is definitely much stronger than it was before. Uh, we've got some great resources going already. Um, and uh, we've got a nice little army here with some Scourge Spiders. Right now we've got a Dryad Queen sitting next to us. And this is a bit concerning because uh, these White Centaur, I think, are going to be too much for us to try and crush. Uh, just because of how many they have. Um, as you can see, they've got, uh, was it 10 of them here? Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, eleven of them. Okay, I thought it was an odd number. So they got eleven of them here. Um, and they hit as hard as my. Are they? I'm sorry. They have good hit points. Um, they're twenty six versus these scourge spiders thirty nine. But they hit harder. They have three attacks. Uh, one is a one shot, but um, and then uh, they do one to one to eight or one to seven, one to eight when they get hurt. Uh, versus this guy who's only doing one to four and then slow damage through uh, poison. So uh, so we don't have enough to take her out right now where she's at. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our boys and we're going to... Uh, I think we're going to move up to this area here and we're going to go ahead and drop a pillar, I think. So we'll, uh, we'll bug out here. Um, we'll go this way. She'll take our port, but that's expected. Um, gauntlets of protection are available. Okay. So they left one center eyed, so that didn't really weaken her force at all. Um, all right. So I uh, got some information about life force. Uh, so let's go ahead and use our special power here to do our pillar of power. Uh, so life force is generated by the terrain around it. Planes will work. Um, but they don't offer as much life force. Uh, so in this case I dropped, it's only got a 14. Each planes offers one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and I believe the village offers five and this offers three. So uh, yeah, 14, that's exactly where we're at. And basically it'll drain these eventually. Uh, and each terrain tile has more uh, or less depending on what kind of life is on there. So some will last longer. So these ones I put up in the forest will last longer than the one I put here. As you can see already, uh, we're converting uh, the area here into pl or into desert uh, pretty quickly here. So um, so right now it's draining uh, this farm and uh, we'll eventually have uh, the ghouls left. I, I don't know if it's draining the port. So, um, but uh, yeah, Christopher from the their group uh, actually dropped in and left a comment about that. Uh, so ancient forests uh, give you the most. Uh, I believe they give uh, ten, um, but they are obviously off spawning animals as well. So that's the trade-off. If you keep the ancient forest, you'll get a lot more life force, but you'll uh, um, you'll have to deal with the animals. So it's just kind of a, a trade. Um, so and then uh, Tech Vorian also left a comment this morning, uh, kind of breaking it down, which is all in the manual. Um, uh, how much each one gives so um, yeah it's definitely worthwhile uh, to to take a look at that and make those decisions on how you want to utilize it so in this case we dropped it here um, we want to take advantage of it uh, drain the life here I don't know if the enchanted forest will last longer or not or if it um, or what happens to these units when the enchanted forest goes away if it goes away so that'll be interesting. But we'll start getting ghouls here, so that'll be worth the trade-off uh, for the village right now. All right. Okay, good. I'm going to crush that army. You got a captain and ten spearmen, huh? Um, yeah, let's grit the spearmen. They're at a discount. So we'll do that. Um, what do you got? 13 units. Some rabbit familiars. Um, we only have one action point, so we'll just go ahead and straight crush you. Yeah, move away. Get your butt out of here. All right, so stats. We still lost three desert warriors and an archer to this junk. Let's see what happened. All right, so he's got greater healing. Okay, so that's the first I've seen of healing in the Conquest of Elysium series. So this is new. Um... 
grants increased healing rate for all inanimate beings in the army, so it has the effect of uh, improving healing in the overworld map too. Very cool. Um, burst 9, but the problem one is Cloud of Confusion, so that's probably what happened here, but we'll see what's going on. Yeah, so your confusion should have a 10% chance of converting your unit over to their side, which is exactly what happened here. So, uh, and then the rest of these guys are confused, so they're just going to uh, not be nearly as effective here, but there we go. And the confusion turned another one of my guys over and another one of my guys over. So it looks like they have a chance each turn now, so. <coughs> oh, Vine Whip. I should have been looking at these items. Okay. So we'll hit okay. All right. What vine whip, huh? I don't think that is going to be worth the gold for us. Um, all right, cool. So we crushed their army there. Uh, let's go ahead and oh, we took an injury. Battle fright, huh? Let's see. Use your special powers, huh? Yeah, let's do another Dark Scourge Summon. Okay, what is that? Basilisk! Okay, it's got a Death Gaze, 1 to 20. That's really cool. Um, except that's going to kill everything in my army, isn't it? Um, I'll have to leave that somewhere where we can defend something. Let's maybe we come down and take White Harbor or Werf, Werfer Harbor. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. You're not going to attack me, so we can take Deer Cliff from you. All right. So I can go straight to the harbor. Let's just do that. Ooh, I shouldn't have brought the Basilisk with me, especially since there's a boat. Ah, this is going to be bad, isn't it? So, stats. Ah, okay. Gosh darn stupid basilisk. Because we made it run. It's just going to kill all my units. That's stupid. God, I hate those things. All right. Well, there goes all my spiders and such. Uh, we can leave the Basilisk here, and uh, we should probably do a recruit of Desert Warriors. So yeah, uh, Basilisk, uh, let me let me show you. So, Death Gaze, range of 10, that's cool, but it's a wide cone 25, and very indiscriminate as far as what it wants to attack. So, uh, 1 to 20 damage against my group, you saw what happened there. We, uh, we caused the thing to run so it just started shooting 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 trying to get to it and uh just ended up killing our own troops instead so we we took some major damage unfortunately um let's see we're gonna take the desert warriors we're gonna leave the regular archers and now we gotta go and find ourselves some uh melee troops here let's just take that that probably means the end of us here nope okay good Battle and Lion Tribe Village, so we created a ghoul. That's good. We need more of those. Um, let's go ahead and use our special power. Stupid Basilisk. Okay, we got our spiders back. All right. Not as many as there was before, but, you know. All right, what do you got? 12 units. Let's crush this army, shall we? Do that. Yep, you're back in town. You got another guy that's hiding there. And yep, you attack me at the port. Let's view the port battle. Let's see what happens when we use it for good. Yeah, that's really good there. But uh, all right, let's view the Hamlet battle. Oh, he rallied. I didn't know you could rally. Um, so that's good. 
20 pike in the air for 145 is really good, but we don't have 145, so. There's another 16 units here, okay. As you can see, my spiders already took some damage too, so. Man, they are spawning units like crazy, so. All right, let's do this, do a little scouting. Don't really have any other powers we can use, so we'll go ahead and do that and uh, call that a turn. Okay, we're just gonna hit the stats. We murdered everything in that army, good. Uh, horned Serpent, okay. I kinda wanna look at some of these. I, I've never seen a Horned Serpent before, so this must be new. Uh, it's just got a Venomous Bite, 14 hit points, and one armor, so. Yeah, otherwise it's just a Serpent, okay. And then the rest of it is uh, standard. These are small spiders, they um, do their thing, so, okay. I don't like that she's here. She's probably sensing that we're weak. Oh, we lost that thing up there. I was like, why is my Scourge power so low? All right. You've got 13 units. What'd you get? Staff of Lightning. So you did take the Staff of Lightning from them. Um, these are weaker troops. Oh, one of the things they added to the Pale Ones are Slingers. Um, dedicated Missile Troops. So that was a big uh, weakness of theirs. So giving them even just a weaker um, missile troop really helped them out. So, all right. Yeah, you just like to dance around that way, huh? Okay. Do I take the mine from them? Kind of want to. We'll get our life force back, or I come up and grab my life force, so let's do that. I need the life force right now. So far, the summons for the greater haven't been that great. The scourge spiders are, are good, um, but that basilisk destroyed us, man. Oh my gosh, that basilisk. All right, I have the life power. And that Dryad Queen keeps pumping out leaders. Small armies, but, uh, I mean, this is another 17-unit army with a great Monflun. Only a few animals are called great, and the Monflun, or Mouflun, is the greatest of them all. They truly are a sight to behold uh, where they fight and run in the setting sun. Being the animal lords of the mountain, they rarely visit lower lands where their lordship would be challenged by bear or moose. <laughs> nice. Uh, but they're starting to get minotaurs. Minotaurs are pretty nasty because they... Oh, this one does not have... Oh, yeah, there's trample. Um, and they can trample through units of the same sprite size. Usually I thought it was based on sprite size, but maybe they, they are up. Oh, but I do need to kill them. That's a regenerating amulet. That is my favorite, favorite, favorite magic item. Um, crap. Okay. And, of course, the... Six giant centipedes. Jabus. All right. Well, uh, we need to come down this way afterwards, but we might as well use our special power. Okay, 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 okay. It, it heard me. It was concerned that I was not happy with the summons, and I got something cool looking. Scourge Flame. Uh, 1 to 25 damage and decays when it affects the unit. Uh, 37 hit points and ethereal. So, um, in a weak attempt to emulate the elemental masters, the Scourge Lord has captured a flame burning on wood infused with a dark life force. The flame produced this way is, of course, inferior to a regular flame, which is as pure as this greenish, sickly flame is foul. A regular flame will burn away taint and illness where this was created. If a person suffering from the plague is burned in pure flame, the plague, together with any impure thoughts, will probably burn to cinders. Unfortunately, this is usually true for the body as well. So. Yeah, Decay is an interesting power. I think we've talked about it before in this series. Uh, anything it affects will die, um, unless it has Ageless, um, which our fire does. So let's go ahead and just view how it works here. So as you can see, our spiders are not poison resistant, so... Alright, they didn't die, so stat-wise we didn't lose anything, but we took some serious damage because those guys are pretty hardy. Um, yeah, I might as well crush this and finally take the Hamlet. 
Now we need to go over here. Oh, why are you up to 26 already? Stupid animal summons. All right. Well, we'll uh, deal with that. Oh, my magic items ran away. Yeah, this Dryad Queen's uh, been rough. All right, we're just going to hit stats. We did lose a ghoul uh, to all the levy slings and such, but we managed to, uh, to win that combat. Do I swing by and pick up? Yeah, I need these eight ghouls, so let's transfer those guys out. Um, nice thing about the Pillar of Power is that it acts as a single movement point, so it isn't a full desert, just like the Citadel isn't. Um, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but uh, it's a ruined port now. Yep, so we ruined it because of the uh, Pillar of Power, so that's why they don't have walls anymore. Um, so that's interesting. So this pillar of power is worth very little now at this point, I bet. Okay, good. My magic items are coming to me. Oh, you're going to try and take on the Basilisk? Let's view this bad boy. Oh, they got my Basilisk. Oh, well. Okay. I really could take the port, but it won't do much for me. All right, let's go ahead and drop some more Desert Warriors here. Let's see. We need to leave five of you here. I guess we can leave that there. Uh, these ghouls aren't doing anything for me, so let's leave you. And we'll grab you. Matter of fact, let's grab you all. Okay. I think that's good for me. Because um, we're going to need the firepower against this guy. Are you the one with my magic item? No, it's your friend. There's your friend. Ah. Yep, they built another boat. All right, so let's view and see what spells he has. He's got himself a giant ant, so that's cool. Um, confusion, but you're not doing it. Magic stone and summon wolf. Okay. You see how fast that minotaur broke through that wooden gate, huh? All right, and of course it started snowing. Um... And there goes the farm that was there. So this pillar of power is down to four. Um, do we crush into you? Or do I head back? That would be three movement. But it's not guaranteed you're actually going to be there, huh? All right. Let's be smart. Let's crush what they've got, and we'll go from there. Good. No, oh, don't move away. Come towards me. So we'll just hit stats. We lost the Scourge Spider, expected, against this. Um, let's view the battle just so we can see how the confusion affected us. And that's why we lost the Scourge Spider, I thought so. Confusion's definitely a lot more reliable than it used to be in terms of that, so. Okay, we'll go this way and we can recapture our stuff here. Um... Quit! Don't go to my pillars, you bastard. <laughs> Alright, we'll snag this. 24 units now, huh? Yeah, quit running away! Got my magic item! Alright, it is spring again, so... Snag those. Come up. They've already got 10 spearmen up, huh? Alright. We've got some life force going, so we'll probably utilize that once I figure out where this guy's going. There you go. Come back. That's what I like to see. So being there, um, 24 units, huh? All right. Let's go ahead and do uh, a Dark Scourge Summons. All right. Those are looking cool. What are they? Dark Serpents. Dark Magic Level 1. Sweet. I love casters. Um... Yeah, that's, that's cool. Um, and then we're going to... 
do that. Call the pillar. Okay. Um, but it only sends the caster, not his army, which is the unfortunate thing. So, Well, either way, uh, we got these 24 units. We've got our 54 units. We're going to go crush him. And we're going to get my magic item, right? Yeah, right there. Um, he's going to be tough to take it from, but uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll manage. What I'm looking for, by the way, if you're curious why I was doing the ritual, I'm looking for the blessing ritual. Because once I get that, it'll be a completely different animal. So let's view the battle here. So you see initial, we really just killed the animals. Uh, we did one damage. He doesn't berserk, luckily, but he does regenerate, so that did nothing. So now he is poisoned for one point of damage. Okay. And now we've got him. Oh yeah, let's see what we got. I should have checked this. Okay. Uh, tendrils of darkness, one to five damage and uh, weakness. That's awesome. Shadow form, so causing etherealness. Shadow form and dark cloud, which does one to four plus one damage. Why is it plus one? Interesting. Um, and then we got fear and dark cloud. So, and that fear is on a D12. So that's fantastic. All right, very cool. So now we have the, um, where to go? Oh, you got it. Why do you have it? You don't need it right now. I need to heal this affliction. So basically now I can heal afflictions in my army and I can do it on anybody, which is really cool because everybody's got a miscellaneous magic item slot and this is in the miscellaneous slot. Um, this is the one item that can actually uh, be used by everybody which means that you can heal afflictions across your whole army if you micromanage it well enough. So, all right, just a commander, huh? Okay. All right. So we've got that going. We got that going. Um, I really do need to push these guys back. So let's uh, let's go ahead and transfer out five of these guys. Oops. It would help if I hit. Shift instead of caps lock, but I might as well just click the ones here. Um, do that so that we can defend this a little bit, prevent them from just stealing it, and we'll crush this commander here wherever he ends up going. Oh man! All right, I was a, I was attacked at a citadel. All right, let's view what happened here. Oh, okay. That was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. A lot closer than I wanted it to be. All right, we need to put some uh, desert warriors back up there. Because if they took that, I would have been lost. I would have lost. So I guess they moved off of the uh, ruined port here. So, oof. Okay, let's use our special power since we're going to attack anyways. Let's do the pyramid of power. Ooh. Let's see. Can drain up to 50 life points from the surrounding land. Um, huge pyramidal, pyramidal monument inscribed with the runes of power that drains life force. Channel to the Scourge Lord will use it to empower or summon beings and manifest destruction. Drains life force from the land farther from itself than a pillar of power. Can also be protected by walls. The pyramid can drain up to 50 points of life force from the surrounding land. If there's more than that, um, the excess will not be drained until some lands have withered away. So interesting okay so we could drop that here and that'll drain a lot more interesting 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 okay but not the power we wanted so let's go ahead and do it one more time there's my dark blessing so now we can start dropping dark blessings and such uh, but the greater pyramid of power might be useful I don't want to use it here or here uh, because that'll start killing off all my income and right now I don't have enough of it so Yeah, yeah, take my pillar. 
bastard. A wealthy merchant from the land across the sea is traveling through the country. He's recently come ashore in Undres. So yeah, uh, that was something else I've learned is that uh, the wealthy merchant that used to randomly appear will now appear in a port of some sort or some sort of uh, yeah thing like that. So that's kind of cool. All right, at this point, uh, why'd you have to take that? I could have got my first blessing, but all right. We'll come down here and we'll crush this uh, harbor here. Every time. You're just pooping out troops, huh? Okay. Nine archers. That's a weird setup. All right. So, oh, nope. Definitely don't want to end the turn. Want to hit transfer. Let's get this uh, pendant onto the spider here. That way he heals a little faster. He's got a festering wound. I thought he did. Um, so that means he's uh, diseased right now because of the wound. And so this should cure both of those things. So, All right. We got ten spearmen and a ship. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Not what I want to do. So let's go ahead and use our special power. So we're going to do our first dark blessing. So now blessed units will cause fear. Um, so right now our, our two blessed guys will cause fear. These guys aren't blessed, but... Uh, we have more than enough to take out our opponent here, so let's do that. Mm -hmm. All right, battle in a port. Yep, uh, let's just hit the stats. We destroyed them. Nothing really to see there, so. All right, uh, let's see. We don't need to transfer. What I want to do is I want to get more Desert Warriors, and I'll transfer those to this force. And then the next round, I can do a recruit there. Uh, at this point, we should put more Desert Warriors up. We now have two points of, uh, or two Citadels, so that's good. Let's go ahead and just take this stuff here. Okay, I guess we're just going to trade points of interest here. What I need to do, though, is I need to get into their territory further, so. Alright, so we got a hero. Uh, the hero can be used to uh, retake our pillar of power here. So fortuitous timing hero. Um, and then we'll push further into the desert here. Okay. That's not good. Unless it's trash. Another wealthy merchant, this time in uh, our port here. So wealthy merchants, oh, first of all, what do you got? Whispering Skull, boosts necromancy, interesting. And charm immunity, that could be useful, actually. Um, but they, they come ashore, if you kill them, um, you know, the merchants themselves are weak. If you kill them, though, you get some cool resources and things like that. Um, gold and iron, so. Um, that's a lot of crossbows, that's interesting. Not that it hurts us at all, but. Hmm, especially since we have the spiders here and the dark magic, lots of dark magic. Yeah, I think we'll come and attack that, crush that. Um, I need to get rid of that guy at some point. Uh, the question is, do I go for another blessing? And I think no for now, because we might need the summons later to uh, power up. So Nej Dago will come over and recapture our pillar. Oh, I forgot to put troops there. Gosh darn it. I'm an idiot. And you're going to take my stuff. Because why not? Ten crossbowmen. That would have been nice to have. All right. Uh, oh, um, let's take a look. Stat-wise, we lost a ghoul and a desert warrior, but we crushed them. Uh, let's see what the battle actually looked like here. See, we uh, crushed them fairly handily. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the 10 crossbowmen here. Um, I keep wanting to move forward, but i got to move back because I need to take this back. Uh, but we might as well crush him and show you what that gives you. And, of course, it's snowing, so now I can't get... Oh, I should have gone down here. I'm an idiot. I could have gotten my pillar this turn. And, of course, your crow. 
crowding in. All right, there was a battle at the farm. Okay. So the golden wizard has solar flare. That's not good. That's blindness. Enchanted sleep and fire resistance. Okay. So. And everybody is ethereal. So we didn't lose anybody, luckily. Um, and we got ourselves some new magic items. So transfer. Uh, so that really doesn't help us except for the charm immunity. So can we give that to you so you don't get charmed? I don't think you're going to get charmed easily. You guys have lower magic resistance. So, Okay. One, two... So do I take that or crush this? I think we crush this. 39 units. That's a sizable army there. So we don't want to deal with that right now. Um, we don't need the summons right now. I don't want to get a basilisk and be stuck with it. So let's be smart, though, and take that. And over here, we'll grab our pillar of power. And we're finally going to start exploring out in the world. And they get crushed by deer. It's probably a deer-bear combo. They love hanging out. Alright, battle in Savannah. Nice and easy. Bunch of archers died. Ten swordsmen and twenty pike in the air, huh? It's just a boat. In a situation like this, I think it should be an overrun. So, I'll make that comment. I don't think it's a bug necessarily but yeah what I do need is uh, let's see do I want the 10 20 pike in here it is a discount there's a lot of troops let's do it uh, we'll do that because we've got a lot of other units and I just need to wait for a leader to be hireable all right wonder why I guess because it's forest maybe it was showing like a sparkly bit um, for the uh, fog of war I'm sure you guys caught that or if not, you guys have the ability to rewind, unlike me. I got a Sheik. Excellent. Stats. We destroyed the ship. Okay, we just destroyed the ship without fighting it. Yeah, that's what I thought. So maybe it should have an overrun if it's the only thing there. So that would be a, a nice little feature. All right, let's get our Sheik going, though. Uh, Jadro. The Sheik. Um, I don't think we need the 10 Spearmen at a 1 gold discount. Um, so we'll get more Desert Warriors. And our Sheik Jadros. Let's see. We'll leave the crossbow here. Um, and we'll take you guys out to uh, recapture our stuff. Oop, I don't want to burn or trap for us. I'll take the... I guess I could have taken this Hamlet, but... I want to explore more. I don't think I'll be holding on to that Hamlet for very long. All right, um, so we got all our pillars back. This one's down to four. I should have taken that dwar or that port at least, but uh, all right. I wonder if the port will be eventually drained to nothing. So, all right, we're finally going to get to explore down here, and <laughs> just as the video ends, um, took a bit, but we got control. Yeah, okay, that's what I figured was going to happen to him. Let's see what we got killed by here. All right, not a bad force. This guy's huge, but he only hits one target. He doesn't have sweep. So it just it's a big old bruiser. And then the slings will get me before anything else. So. All right. I do want to do a little more exploring. So I did a little up there, but our Sheik is going to take that. What do we have here? Just the five or six desert warriors. That's good. Um, so we're going to... Take a little extra time here, and uh, all right. So they got a castle here with a single crossbowman. That'll be a fun forward uh, point to uh, to build off of. And uh, yeah. So unfortunately, my uh, my leaders here don't have desert move. Uh, they're just on all sides, huh? You up to 160 units. Look how many white centaur they have. My lord. They got a counselor here as well with uh, shoes of flying and floating. Oof. 
All right, magic uh, athletes Harbergen. Okay, evasion, five hit points, two armor. So, yep, I can't do anything about that army, and it's gonna crush us, isn't it? So we gotta take the castle. I think is our best bet. All right, we'll take the castle, and hopefully this won't mean the end of us. Probably will be though if they decide to attack. We'll take the port, and we'll come back here. All right, let's see if our game ends. Yep. That's pretty much going to be game over for us, guys. All right, let's view the battle. Oh, uh, this is my battle. I crushed him, crossbowman. Okay, let's view this battle. The fact that she gets white centaur so easily, I never had that when I played my Dryad Queen. Maybe it was bad luck on my part, but these things are quite powerful, so let's speed it up a little bit. So taking this castle was the smart move, as you can see. Converted my regenerating spider, that's fantastic. The biggest problem is I don't have anything other than terror for. I got the scourging wind, so they're slowly killing themselves, but. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, I think actually we're going to go ahead and call this one. As great a start as this was, that Dryad Queen just was way too powerful, way too quickly. Um, so, now we don't have to go and get ourselves killed. We can just hit the Resign button here. So we'll do that, and we'll take a look and see what we had uh, going against us. So everyone was defeated. So let's go ahead and reveal the map. Pretty cool map overall. The Dryad Queen really didn't have a lot, but that army was just incredible. Oh, this one here. I mean, just the sheer amount of hit points they got out of those summons is just insane. Um, and that was pretty much their doom stack, and I couldn't run away from it, so I did the best thing I could, which was take that, so... Um, Demonologist looks like they were incredibly powerful as well. Um, so that's a lot of melee troops. What is this? Okay, it's got some sort of spell casting and enchanting the walls. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Pyramid of Skulls. That's cool. This is a necromancer. So, uh, so that's a siege unit. That's cool. Um, yeah, we had some very powerful classes here, except the Hoburgers, which I never saw. Um, and then it looks like, uh, oh yeah, they had a few here, so, okay, I was like, yeah, the Pale Ones weren't incredibly strong at all, so, so yeah, this is, uh, this is our map here, uh, Dry Queen just got a lot of great summons. Um, put it all in one basket and, you know, just happened to be where we were at. So that's the unfortunate thing. Um, Necromancer looks like they were expanding and becoming strong. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what we could have done against the Dry Queen. We did everything we could. It's weird. Why is she all the way? Oh, she's here. No. Why is she all the way there? Oh, because they got a free turn after I resigned. That's what it was. Okay. So, yeah, this army was just too much. Um, I mean, these serpents have eight hit points each and cause poison, but they're wall climbers, so that's really good in a siege combat. Um, yeah, the tiger. That's cool. 
Uh, so yeah, it's a bit much. Unfortunately, this is uh, probably the end for our Scourge Lord playthroughs for now. Um, I do want to show them off at some point. Maybe I'll do it on a stream instead, and uh, maybe we'll have better luck than we did here. Um, just couldn't couldn't overcome their doom stack. Uh, we threw a lot of our resources into our army, but just wasn't enough. So um, this was fun, though. I hope you guys have learned a lot. I hope it helps you in your playthroughs, and uh, we'll hopefully uh, be able to see you guys uh, uh, find more success than I did with the Scourge Lord. So the next video will be. Uh, a new series and uh we'll be a new uh new commander so we'll uh we'll take a look at what our options are and uh we'll go from there so Ooh, wanted to show this guy off rakshaka so kind of an interesting sprite but they're uh masters of illusion so um and i've heard some people comment if they're masters of illusion why would they choose this form and uh i have nothing i can tell you that so they create mirror images of themselves though so they got flying monkeys. Anyways, um, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.